Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Anybody that's new to the channel, my name is Chris, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about three stocks to buy right now with the market down. Okay, this past week, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, and even the S&P 500 were all red. And while many people were panic selling, I was, on the other hand, panic buying. These three stocks that I'm talking to you about in this video are high growth stocks. And right now, yes, in my position, I do have these stocks in my portfolio. And this week they were down. But I took it as a buying opportunity to even better, you know, average down my cost in these stocks and better my position in these companies. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys the top three companies that I feel like you should buy. At least I'm buying in this market crash right now. And so why am I actually buying these stocks? So before I start the video, please remember to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down to the channel. So without further ado, guys, let's talk about the three stocks. Now, the first stock on the list, guys, is called Givo, ticker symbol G-E-V-O, okay? Now, Givo right now, after hours, at the moment this video is being recorded, is $7.64, okay? So if we take a look just back a month out, Givo was trading around $14, so it has dropped down around 45% since its all-time highs. Okay, but I'm really bullish on Jivo. Jivo has a market cap of around $1.07 billion and has an average volume of $34.8 million. Okay, now Jivo is a renewable energy company that specializes in biofuel. We all know that renewable energy is going to be the future of basically the United States and everything. Everybody's going into electric vehicles and more renewable energy side, right? So now Jivo is going to be a very impactful player in the future. So one of the big things that did happen with Jivo is at the end of February, they signed an agreement with Scandinavian Airlines System. I hope I said that name right. Okay. To a, an agreement worth around $100 million. Okay. They agreed to get 5 million gallons per year from Jivo starting at 2024 from Jivo's Net Zero 2 project. Okay. Now, Jivo is already starting the Net Zero 1 project. That's where there has been a lot of attention for Jivo. But once year 2024 starts and Net Zero 2 is up and running, they're going to be getting at least, you know, 5 million gallons from this one client. Okay. Now, this, this is one of many different contracts, one of many different clients that Jivo actually has. But this is one of the newer ones that Jivo has actually been doing. Okay. And believe it or not, guys, there's going to be one day where travel is going to be open, that this COVID and all these restrictions is going to be no more, you know, hopefully. Right. And travel and airlines are going to be up and running and full throttle and full systems right so many people might be more leaning towards getting more biofuels for the airlines okay now jivo does produce jet fuel and gasoline you know for environmentally safe okay i i am really bullish on jivo right now they are a little bit overvalued okay they have a market cap of one point billion dollars and they haven't really made any sort of significant let's say amount of revenue okay they don't have too much debt or if any at all but they are in great position to basically grow long term that's why i'm really bullish on jivo okay my second stock that i want to talk about in this video guys is izea ticker symbol i z e a izea world right okay now izea is a company that specializes in influencer marketing we all know that influencer marketing is going to be a very powerful space long Long term okay there are still restrictions right now and there are people trying to make a living okay people are trying to promote their businesses whether it's a small business a corporation or just a little side hustle people are trying to get their names out there in some shape way or form right and Isaiah basically gives the those people or businesses the opportunity for growth okay now Isaiah had a very strong beginning of the year basically growing 120% but since then has dropped you know, 45%. But I am really bullish on Isaiah. Isaiah managed service bookings reach 45% growth year over year to date in Q1. Okay. This was the report in March 3rd. Okay. So basically all the renewed contracts. Okay. That's one thing you, that we like to see renewed contracts for Jivo. I mean, for, for Isaiah, right? Renewed contracts for Isaiah. There's 48% growth year over year in the first quarter already, and there is still three weeks left 
for Isaiah to grow, okay? They already have Fortune 100 companies renewing the contracts and even newer clientels that have been very attracted with Isaiah to basically promote their businesses, their small businesses, and they have many different things out there. Isaiah is a very impactful company, in my opinion. It's going to be a very great company for the rest of year 2021. Isaiah is a very good high growth stock. It's going to be a very powerful player in the influencer marketing space, okay? 48% year over year, and I could just imagine what else is left for Isaiah for the rest of of Q2, Q3, and Q4 of the rest of year 2021. I have made videos analyzing and basically going more in depth in Isaiah to why I think Isaiah could probably be one of the best stocks to own in year 2021. If you guys wanna see those videos, I'm gonna put the link down in the description and at the end of the video, I'll probably have you know some links about Isaiah. But I'm very bullish on Isaiah and it has so many different things, like so many different options that it offers for the you know for, for the influencer and how it actually markets people it just it's a very good company if you guys want me to i could do a follow-up video on isaiah specifically for you guys to get more in-depth information okay that's my stock number two now stock number three guys believe it or not is tesla okay we all know tesla and we all love tesla but tesla has been getting pounded look in this past month Tesla was trading around $864.26, right? And right now, after hours, it's trading at $596, right? And Tesla had a huge market cap in just a month ago, okay? Right now, their market cap is $573.9 billion, all right? And many people are worried about tesla many people are selling off on teslas there's many reports that even a very well-known analysts and very well-known billionaires are selling their shares on tesla because of this crash okay you know tesla we all know that tesla is a very volatile company just look at their beta numbers 2.06 that is extremely volatile look at their pe ratio tesla is still considered overvalued okay but Tesla my Tesla, like Jeremy from Financial Education says, is a must buy. And, you, and every time Tesla dips down, especially something like this, dropping down, you know, 15, 20% in a month is a very great opportunity. I remember I was watching Meet Kevin's live stream. He just, he was like, ooh, Tesla is so juicy right now. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to just buy 100 shares of Tesla. Boom, bought 100 shares of Tesla. And like, that guy's crazy. That guy has enough money enough investments and you know to believe in tesla and i do too i do believe in tesla long term tesla is doing incredible things they are working on cars obviously but it's just more than a car company they are working on their cyber trucks and they are soon to be released by the end of this year or in the beginning of year 2022 okay they're about to start you know, I think they're about to finish the fabrication of the new facility over there in Shanghai, but still, Tesla is a must buy, in my opinion. Tesla's valuation has gone down because I believe this PE ratio was around 1400, now it dropped down to 934. Okay, so it's still a little bit overvalued, in my opinion, but Tesla is a must buy. Okay, you can see that their 52 week high was around $900, all right? And they since then dropped to around, let's say $600, okay? So they lost a third of their value since they reached their highs. But is Tesla a selling opportunity or a buying opportunity for many people? In my opinion, what I did was I averaged down. I bettered my position in Tesla and I believe Tesla long-term is going to be a very powerful company and one of the best car-making manufacturing companies out there. And not just, it's going to be of a huge technology company competing, in my opinion, with Apple and Microsoft later on in the future once they start to really expand on the horizon to what Tesla actually is. Tesla is just scratching the surface to what they can and cannot do. But there's a lot of things that they cannot do. Okay, so they are going to do many different things long term. Okay, guys, so those are basically my three high growth stocks that I am buying right now with the market down, let's say like two or three percent. Two three percent means a lot. Okay, whenever the market is down, we buy, whenever the market is green, we just wait and see what's actually going on. Okay, now the market has been going down because of everything that's been going on with the rumors of inflation and the delayed stimulus package that's been going on in the states. Okay. But better yet, guys, whenever it is green, that is a buying opportunity for me. But please remember to always invest into great quality stocks and 
you know companies okay don't follow my advice i'm just random person on youtube just talking okay but these are my three top picks that i've already bought into my portfolio i already previously had these three stocks in my portfolio now and i'm just keep on averaging down at one point i believe isaiah was down 34 percent in my in my portfolio was down 34 percent but i averaged it down to around 15 percent and now i'm you know i'm making some profits right now i'm almost breaking even i believe okay but still i believe whenever isaiah is down or jivo is down or even tesla is down you can see how juicy and how tempting it is to actually start to buy into a great quality companies that could probably make you guys rich and make you guys a lot of money long term. All right, guys. So please let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about these three high growth stocks that I am buying, in my opinion, are going to be great companies for the rest of year 2021. Let me know down below what you guys are, are your thought process. Are you buying? You have these stocks on your watch list? Just let me know down in the comment section. And if you guys have any suggestions to what stocks you want me to analyze or talk about in the near future videos, let me know down in the comment section. And please remember to give me a big thumbs up if you want to follow the journey. Subscribe down to the channel. I'm a very happy guy. Let's talk about stocks and let's talk about money. All right, guys. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my three picks and have fun out there okay just please be careful with the market going up and down it's very volatile just be careful and be wary and just put your money in very safe places all right guys so please take care of yourselves please wear your mask be safe out there and peace out guys till next time bye peace out